share with you my favorite five gadgets in the kitchen. So the first one I'd like to show you is the old school egg slicer. And yes, I do use it to slice up eggs. I love putting them on a salad. In fact, when you put a healthy fat, like the healthy fat of egg yolks, including the cholesterol, yes, eggs are healthy. When you put a healthy fat on your greens, it helps you to absorb many of the antioxidants in them much better. I also like to use it for strawberries. You get these nice little slices that are great for decoration. So that's a really simple thing that you can use to make perfect slices. And I always have a little stash of hard boiled eggs in my fridge for a quick healthy snack. My second favorite gadget in the kitchen is my KitchenAid uh, blender. I do so much with this. I make nut butters, I make frozen desserts, and I love to make almond milk and coconut milk. So I was in the middle of making almond milk and I thought I would share this with you. So I've made my almond milk, super easy. I have a video on my website. So if you go to my website, perfectresonance.com and type almond milk in the search bar, you'll see exactly how I make this. And this brings me to my third favorite little gadget in the kitchen. I was gifted this by my friend Murray. Thank you, Murray. And this is a nut bag, I guess, and it's sort of like reusable cheesecloth. So I just put it over a sieve and when I have my almond milk mixture ready, I pour it through the bag and then all the lovely almond milk strains through and you can squeeze and squeeze and get every last bit out. And then um, the ground up almond that you have left in the bag, you can spread it out on a cookie sheet and dry it in a low oven and you have your own almond flour or almond meal. So I like to make my own almond milk because sometimes the ones we buy in the carton can have artificial flavors and they can have sweeteners and also they use these thickeners that end in some kind of gum like guar gum or locust bean gum or now there's one called gallon or gelin gum and while some of them do come from natural sources they can make some people a bit gassy so some of them have been shown to be a gastrointestinal irritant so just be careful with that super easy to make your own next number four i have a pastry cutter but I don't use it to make pastry because I avoid using uh, wheat especially, um, but I use this to mash up my favorite thing, guacamole, which I also have an easy recipe for on my website. So you can go there and find my guacamole recipe. And I just put the guacamole in a bowl and smash it, smash it up with my pastry cutter. And when you're peeling your avocado, I like to cut it into quarters, makes it really easy to remove the nut. And then instead of scooping it out with a spoon, I like to peel. This one's not quite right, so it's a bit difficult. But when you peel, um, you don't waste anything, and that dark green layer right underneath the peel, that's loaded with antioxidants. So that's how I like to clean my avocado. And for any bits that you want to save, you know how fast it turns brown in the fridge. You can prevent that by covering the surface, the cut surface with fresh squeezed lemon juice, and then put it in an airtight, airtight container to last a little bit longer. And last but not least, I'll tell you, when I brought this little baby home, I wanted to julienne everything in sight. So it's just a julienne slicer, I guess, that I bought from a kitchen store. It was six or seven dollars. And my favorite thing to do with it is to turn zucchini into noodles. So you just run it along the edge of the zucchini here. I already started this one so you can see what the end product is like. And you end up with all of these little pasta-like strings. Really, really easy. You don't have to go to the trouble of setting up one of those spiralizers or whatever they're called. And I do have a recipe for zucchini pasta on my website. So lots of recipes on my website. I hope you'll check them out. And zucchini is bland. So it takes on the flavor of your favorite spaghetti sauce. And I guarantee even the pickiest veggie eater will go for some zucchini pasta with their favorite sauce on it. So there you have it, five of my favorite kitchen gadgets. If you've never tried one before, I encourage you to go pick it up and start getting creative in your kitchen. Anna Viriano, Perfect Residence Natural Health Counseling, partnering for a healthier, more vibrant you.